Andean bear. Andean bear, or a spectacled bear, is a species of bear native to the Andes Mountains in northern and western South America. It is the only living species of bear native to South America, and the last remaining short-faced bear. The species typically has distinctive beige-colored marking across its face and upper chest, though not all spectacled bears have spectacle markings. The pattern and extent of pale markings are slightly different on each individual bear and bears can be readily distinguished by this. Males are a third larger than females in dimensions, and sometimes twice their weight. Males can weigh 100 to 200 kilograms. Length can range from 120 to 200 centimeters. Compared to other living bears, the species has a more rounded face with a relatively short and broad snout. Unlike other omnivorous bears, the diet of the spectacled bear is mostly herbivorous. The species is classified as vulnerable by the IUCN because of habitat loss. Panda. The giant panda, also known as the panda bear or simply panda, the giant panda is a rare, endangered, and elusive bear. Science used to believe that the giant panda was a member of the raccoon family. With DNA analyses, science proved itself wrong. The giant panda and the red panda are not related. Giant pandas are famous for their love of bamboo, diet so nutritionally poor that the pandas have to consume up to 20 kilograms each day. The extra digit on the panda's hand helps them to tear the bamboo and their gut is covered with a thick layer of mucus to protect against splinters. Habitat loss is the greatest cause of the giant panda's decline, and today their range is restricted to six separate mountain ranges in western China. A giant panda is born pink, hairless, blind. Unlike other bears, giant pandas do not hibernate. In the winter, they move to lower elevations to keep warm, while traveling to higher elevations in the summer to stay cool. They can be active at any time of the day or night. Sun bear. The sun bear is a bear species in the family Ursidae found in the tropical forests of Southeast Asia. It is the only species in the genus Halarctos and the smallest bear species, standing nearly 70 centimeters at the shoulder and weighing 25 to 65 kilograms. Sun bears have short black or dark brown water repellent fur with a yellow crescent on their chest. They have strong paws with naked soles and long sickle-shaped claws. They have flexible snouts and very long tongues, which are an adaptation for extracting termites from nests. Relatively to their size, they have the largest canines of all the bear species. Canine teeth are specialized for tearing meat, but sun bears are not particularly carnivorous. They may use their sharp canines as weapons or as tools for tearing at trees to get at insects. Being omnivores, Sun bear's diet includes ants, bees, beetles, honey, termites, and plant material such as seeds and several kinds of fruits. Sun bears tend to remain solitary but sometimes occur in twos, such as a mother and her cub. They do not seem to hibernate, possibly because food resources are available the whole year throughout the range. Asiatic black bear. Asian black bear, also known as the Asiatic black bear, is a medium-sized bear species native to Asia that is largely adapted to an arboreal lifestyle. Asiatic black bears have long black fur with a distinct white patch on the chest that is often crescent-shaped. The fur around the shoulders and throat is particularly long, and their ears are relatively large, although only a small part of their diet is made up of meat. This includes small mammals, birds, fish, mollusks, and carcasses. They also feed on grasses, fruits, berries, seeds, insects, and honey. In autumn, they fatten up for the winter by feeding on nuts. In northern climates, they hibernate. In southern climates, they do not hibernate. Polar bear. The polar bear is a large bear native to the Arctic and nearby areas. It is the largest extant species of bear and land carnivore, with adult males weighing 300 to 800 kilograms. They are mostly carnivorous and specialized for preying on seals. Such prey is typically taken by ambush. The bear may stalk its prey on the ice or in the water, but also will stay at a breathing hole or ice edge to wait for prey to swim by. The bear primarily feeds on the seal's energy-rich blubber. Other prey include walruses, beluga whales, and some terrestrial animals. Polar bears are usually solitary but can be found in groups when on land. Its biggest threats are climate change pollution, and energy development. Climate change has caused a decline in sea ice, giving the polar bear less access to its favored prey and increasing the risk of malnutrition and starvation. The bears must spend more time on land, increasing conflicts with humans. 
Polar bears have been hunted, both by native and non-native peoples for their coats, meat, and other items. North American Black Bear Black bears are North America's most familiar and common bears. They typically live in forests and are excellent tree climbers, but are also found in mountains and swamps. Despite their name, black bears can be blue-gray or blue-black, brown, cinnamon, or even very rarely white. Black bears are very opportunistic eaters. Most of their diet consists of grasses, roots, berries, and insects. They will also eat fish and mammals, including carrion, and easily develop a taste for human foods and garbage. Bears who become habituated to human food at campsites, cabins, or rural homes can become dangerous and are often killed. Thus, the frequent reminder, please don't feed the bears. Brown bear. The brown bear is a large bear native to Eurasia and North America. Brown bears range in color from almost black, brown to very light brown or blonde. It has evolved large hump muscles, unique among bears, and paws up to 21 centimeters wide and 36 centimeters long to effectively dig through dirt. Its teeth are similar to those of other bears and reflect its dietary plasticity. Throughout the brown bear's range, it inhabits mainly forested habitats in elevations of up to 5,000 meters. It is omnivorous and consumes a variety of plant and animal species. Contrary to popular belief, the brown bear derives 90% of its diet from plants. When hunting, it will target animals as small as insects and rodents to those as large as moose or muskoxen. In parts of coastal Alaska, brown bears predominantly feed on spawning salmon that come near shore to lay their eggs. Sloth bear. The sloth bear, also known as the Indian bear, is a myrmecophagous bear species native to the Indian subcontinent. It has also been called labiated bear because of its long, lower lip and palate used for sucking up insects. Sloth bears are stocky with long, shaggy black hair and a white U or Y-shaped marking on the chest. They have large lips, a long tongue, and well-developed hook-like claws that enable them to climb trees and dig for termites. Sloth bears are nocturnal, and occupy home ranges that they seem happy to share with other sloth bears. Male sloth bears have an average range of 13 square kilometers. This is much smaller than most other bears, probably due to the fact that they do not suffer from seasonal fluctuations of food supply. Ants and termites are available all year round. The constant availability of ants and termites also mean that they do not need to undergo a winter sleep. When their territories are encroached upon by humans, they sometimes attack them. Historically, humans have drastically reduced these bears' habitat and diminished their population by hunting them for food and products such as their bacula and claws. Sloth bears have been tamed and used as performing animals and as pets. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.